What's up, members of the Barrio? It's John, coming to you from Manhattan. And today, we're gonna be exploring one of the most famous things in New York City, rooftop bars. We're going everywhere, from Midtown Manhattan hotels, to hip spots in Brooklyn, to the beach in Queens. Get ready, in no order, the top 10 rooftop bars in New York City. Guys, make sure to check out my other New York City playlist, link down below. Here we go. Normally, when you think of rooftop bars in New York City, you think of cocktails. But if you're a wine aficionado, Rooftop Reds is your place. If you want unique, you found it. The first place in the world to grow their own commercially viable wine on a rooftop is located here. Just make a reservation online and head inside the Brooklyn Navy Yard for this hidden gem. Half the fun is finding it. You'll need to walk inside a nondescript factory building, head to the fourth floor, but you're in for a treat. We were cooled off on a hot summer day by some incredible chilled rosé. They have an expansive wine menu starting at $9 a glass. You can even drink their own rooftop red selection. My favorite part of the experience was just roaming the active vineyard, which is transformed into a super chill area great for a group of friends. From playing cornhole to admiring the views, heck, take a nap like I did and enjoy the kind of experience you can only find in New York City. Two Thirty Fifth is the city's most famous rooftop bar, and while it does get the most tourists and attention, I'm still a big fan. This two-floor establishment has a little something for everybody. The 20th floor is where you go to dance and enjoy skyscraper views from the large windows. But my favorite thing is going to the top floor, where you can practically reach out and touch the Empire State Building. You can even don a free red robe during the colder months. I recommend you go during happy hour, 4 to 7 p.m. during the week for discounted drink specials and smaller crowds. But if you want to be in the center of everything, come on a weekend night and enjoy some of their $14 cocktails with one of my favorite views in the city. If you want a classic New York rooftop with amazing martinis, Castel is definitely the place. Located atop the AC Hotel in Times Square, head to the 21st floor to find what you'd probably envision in a New York rooftop. Amazing views, check. A stylish interior perfect for a group, check. Incredible cocktails, you guessed it, check. I hardly ever order martinis, but when I found out it was their specialty, I just had to indulge. My $18 Vesper martini mixed with gin, vodka, and Lillet Blanc was worth every penny. Team Adriana really enjoyed her Tropic Tango Pisco cocktail. Pair that with very friendly service, and there was something really cozy about a night out here. I'd highly recommend it for a classy date that you won't soon forget. And if you're into martinis, you've come to the right place. Bungalow. I decided to get creative here, and when you're at sea level in Rockaway Beach, Queens, an elevated deck is as good as a rooftop. Cap off any trip to the beach with some of the coldest beer in Queens, or so they say. And with that gorgeous view of Jamaica Bay, this feels more like the Jersey Shore than one of the largest cities in the world. But who can argue with cold $6 beers on tap and live music around sunset? On a warm summer's night, Bungalow is worth a visit. If you're looking for a secret garden type of vibe, go to the rooftop of the McKittrick Hotel, home of Sleep No More, and visit Gallo Green. If you're not familiar with Sleep No More, it's one of New York's most interactive theater experiences. And well, I'll let you go see the show yourself, but consider Gallo Green an extension of it. Inspired by Shakespeare's Macbeth, set in Scotland, it's outfitted as a vintage train station with actual tracks, flowers, 
herbs and hanging vines. Heck, even the cocktails are inspired by the show at $17 a pop. My Sleep No More with vodka, liqueur, and rosé cider was absolutely refreshing on a warm evening. Adriana, sticking to her Mexican roots, loved the summer bees, a great blend of tequila, watermelon, vanilla, and lime. Oh my god, so fresh. I recommend checking out the club car or Manderley Bar downstairs as well. There's so much going on at the McKittrick Hotel and having dinner or drinks at Gallo Green is just one amazing reason to go. One of the newest rooftops on the list, Dear Irving on Hudson, has some serious buzz for good reason. Only open since January. If you like amazing cocktails and great views, head to the Elise Hotel located next to Times Square, hit the 40th floor, and you'll enter a classy space that doesn't take itself too seriously. Unless, of course, we're talking about the drinks. And this is under the same umbrella as the Dear Irving Speakeasy in Gramercy, known for their incredible cocktails. The menu with cocktails priced at $18 had some nice touches, like an ode to the Empire State with all of the spirits being made in New York. I loved my La Paloma with Blanco tequila. Adriana enjoyed her panorama daiquiri made with rum and pineapple with quite the panorama, I have to say. Insider tip, if you make a reservation, ask to be seated on the 41st floor. Views are even better and the decor is just a touch classier, perfect if you have a big date or night to celebrate. Any place that does cocktails as well as Dear Irving on Hudson is a winner in my book. If you want something hip and new in Bushwick, Brooklyn, check out The Ledge. It's 1970s themed and it has a really cool happy hour until nine o'clock during the week. If you want to find the next trendy rooftop spot to hit up in Bushwick, I give my vote to The Ledge. I'm not sure what it is about retro themes, but these guys nailed it with the California dreaming angle. Even the cocktails are West Coast inspired with fresh fruit and veggies mixed in. Our bartender made us three different libations, a watermelon tonic, Campari Sunrise, and cucumber gimlet, nobody was complaining. And the decor outside, very cool to hang out during those warm weather months. As a cool bonus, head across the hall to their sister bar, Jamelli, and not only has nice views, but also is a full service Italian restaurant. This is a two for one rooftop bar experience in Bushwick that needs to be on your radar. If you're looking for something relaxed with a group of friends, very unpretentious in Midtown, you need to hit up Cloud Social. If you're gonna be near Koreatown in Manhattan, which is a worthy stop by itself, pop into Cloud Social, located on the 17th floor of the New York Manhattan Hotel. Sneak a peek of the Empire State Building. I highly recommend this spot for a big group of friends or an after work activity if your job is in Midtown. They have happy hour specials, but you should order one of their strong summery cocktails at $15. Our bartender was on point. Team Adriana approved. And hey, look, I was trying to be fashionable. This drink kind of matches my shirt, doesn't it? I love the chill social vibe here and I'm putting this right up there with the other awesome rooftop choices in the Midtown Manhattan area. If you're looking for something classy after work, add PhD Terrace to your list, especially on Tuesdays. Especially on Tuesdays is right when they host their Aperitivo Tuesday Positano edition parties in the spring and summer. The rooftop is transformed into a festive Italian theme, and my favorite part is the complimentary food. That's right, have some small bites until 7 p.m. on the house, including a cheese station. And if you want to take advantage of the happy hour until 6 o'clock, there's a $5 cocktail special, the Spritz Violet. You can also order $18 cocktails throughout the event. And if you really want to go baller, order the $85 Spritz Flight, which includes a bottle of Prosecco and four juices to make your own cocktails for a small group. To me, this is the best of both worlds. A classy place where you can actually take advantage of some great deals, which makes this one of the 
best rooftop happy hours in all of Manhattan. The Magic Hour Rooftop Bar and Lounge may be one of the most unique choices on this video, and you're about to find out why. It's unique, all right. Head inside this quirky place located at the top of the Moxie Hotel in Times Square. This bar is known for their outlandish food and drink choices, which automatically makes me a fan. We sampled some crazy selections from their curiosities menu, like the $65 Rosé Olé Margarita. At 25 ounces, it could easily serve three or four. Or the doctor's orders, two IV bags of Bacardi Lime Rum at $60. Oh, the fun you could have with these. The carnival theme continues on the other side of the roof where they have a tiny mini golf course. Did I mention how photogenic this rooftop was yet? You can also order $15 Buzz Pops with tequila, rum, and vodka. We had some fantastic appetizers, including my surprise favorite, the New York pretzel. If you want to have a really fun, outlandish party with a small group, the Magic Hour rooftop should be your destination. Guys, I hope you got a lot of ideas from this video. Make sure to tell me down below in the comments which one of these rooftops was your favorite. I'm curious. And also watch my other New York City playlists, all linked down below in the description. Guys, thank you so much for watching as always. Until next time.